Now, a young woman faces a long jail sentence here after she was found guilty of throwing acid at her friend's face, leaving her scarred for life. Mary Konya disguised herself in a Muslim veil when she launched the vicious attack on Naomi Oni after following her home from work in an East London shopping centre. The court heard the pair had fallen out after Mazzoni had allegedly called Konya an ugly monster. Fatima Manji has this report. It's just after 11 at night. A young woman makes her normal journey home from work. She doesn't know it, but she's being followed, seemingly by a stranger dressed in a black face veil. But this was no stranger, and it was to be no normal journey home. When Naomi only left work, this is what she looked like. By the time she got home, her face had been scarred for life. Naomi had acid thrown over her, her face and chest were seriously burnt, and she lost her hair and eyelashes. The woman responsible, her own friend, 21-year-old Mary Conyi. The day after the attack, she pretended to comfort Naomi, sending her a text message saying, OMG, I can't believe it. But the jury at Snaresbrook Crown Court didn't believe Mary Conyi's version of events, and she now faces a jail sentence. Mary Conyi has obviously had to purchase, at some point, some sulfuric acid. She is prepared for this over a number of months, even years. The result today will give Naomi Oni some comfort, but she's never going to be away from the fact that she's scarred. Every time she looks in the mirror, she's going to be reminded of the fact, but it will enable her to start to get some closure. Naomi burst into tears as she left the courtroom. The trial itself has been a real ordeal because Mary Conyer accused her of carrying out the attack herself for fame. She said Naomi was obsessed with TV presenter Katie Piper, an acid attack victim who became a household name. He threw acid in my face and that's when my life completely changed forever. But Naomi said she told Mary Conyer how horrified she was at the details of Katie Piper's story. And so after the two friends had a minor argument, Mary decided to punish her through a copycat attack. Naomi has had to go through numerous procedures, but one has brought her particular pleasure, having eyebrows again. The woman who created those eyebrows used colour pigments to mimic tiny little hairs. She says it's especially complex for acid attack victims. Particularly difficult because of the scar tissue. There's usually quite dense scar tissue. And obviously they've got a lot of reconstructive work to do before we get to the point that we're doing the, the final touches. With Naomi in particular, there was quite a lot of thickened scar tissue across the brow area. And she had lost quite a lot of her natural brow hair. So it was, it was quite a difficult um, job. But we, we, we got a great result. Her face will never look the same, but Naomi has found a certain confidence. I've always wanted to be a makeup artist mm -hmm. and I've always wanted to help people, you know, you know, with uh, image issues and stuff like that. And um, hopefully now I have a, you know, a purpose to help people that have suffered from, you know, things like myself. And she's looking forward to her 22nd birthday in a few weeks' time. She says she's now a grown woman.